All right, the next maneuver we're going to do after we do the 90 degree back is the offset back. Uh, in your uh, alley dock box, you're going to pull up to your Class A boundary. That's the first step in, in, in completing your offset. So let's do that. I'm gonna get it in gear, ease up off the clutch. Clutch then brake, stop, just behind my Class A boundary. And then the next thing we're gonna do here is turn the wheel to the left, and our focus is gonna be on the right so what we're looking for is the bend in the trailer, back of the trailer, to cross over to the right lane. Once that happens, then I'm going to refocus to the left by turning my wheel the opposite way. So here we go. I got it in reverse, up off the clutch. I'm turning my wheel to the left. And what I'm going to kind of do is rotate my eyes down so I can see the back of that trailer cross over. Once it crosses over, I'm turning my head all the way over here, turning the wheel completely to the right and holding it and waiting to see what the trailer's doing. So now what that's doing is it's pushing the front end of that trailer back into the right lane. Now I gotta go completely back to the left. Notice my wheel movement is quick to get the tractor back under and I may have to readjust by going back to the right and then back to the life left quickly. Uh, one thing I will say, once you break the cones back there for your offset, then you can do a pull up just in the right lane. And what I would suggest is that you pull all the way up to your boundary to get your tractor and trailer straight. As we talked about on the 90, the best way to determine if the tractor and trailer are straight, I'm going to see an even amount of trailer in my mirrors. I'm also going to uh, just look down and see my drive tires, outside wall, the drive tires are flush with the outside wall of the trailer. Okay, now I'm simply going to turn my wheel because I have to bend that trailer by turning to the right and then quickly back to the left. I always want to stay underneath this trailer to push it back. And really, at this point, it turns into like what, what, what we call the next maneuver, a straight line back. I'm just simply trying to stay within the lines here. I don't want to touch any of these lines as I'm backing up. Uh, to complete this maneuver, my truck and trailer need to be straight inside the offset box. Once the tractor and trailer are behind it, at that point, I can sound the end of the maneuver. It's not a lot of wheel moving, as you can see, as I'm backing up here. I'm watching to see that my front of my tra tractor has crossed over uh, behind the cones. At this point, I could take my get out and look to see how things are, uh, gauge that it's okay, and once I get back into the truck, set my brake and sound my horn. <laughs> 